Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I'm gonna show how to create these with After Effects. Let's get started. So guys, welcome back. Let's first one go to Shape Layers, hold this icon, and choose Rendered Rectangle Tool, and let's create one rectangle like this. And Clisation Tool, let's change name one. And go to shape layers again, hold the second, choose again the render rectangle tool, and let's create another shape layer like this. Clusation tool and select this layer and these layers. Go to window and align. Click this icon and this icon for move to center all of them layers. And select the shape layer one, change name two, and move to down. So select this layer one. Let's open inside rectangle one and rectangle path one. Let's change redness for smooth layer. Okay, and select these two layers. Click this icon for turn on 3D layers. And let's go to active camera. Choose here first custom we want. And in this time, let's add acceleration for looks 3D layer. And don't forget to change render engine. We can change render engine here. Also, let's right click, composition settings, 3D render, and choose render engine, cinema 4D. Click OK. And in this time, select this layer 1, open inside, geometry option. Let's change acceleration deep 125. OK. And go to fill choose color brown okay let's click ok and for shadow let's go to stroke right here stroke with one and open color choose eyedropper and change color to dark like this click ok let's close settings one and select the shape layer two open inside and again geometry options and extension deep Let's change 25. Okay, select this layer and go to fill. Choose color like this. Okay, and let's go to stroke right here. One, open stroke color and choose color eyedropper and change to shut off. Nice. So, in this time, select the shape layer 2 and go to view, change view to top. And let's enable snapping and let's hold shift and move to center like this. Okay, so in this time, select this layer one, let's link to layer two and back to first view. And let's select this layer two. Let's see. Okay, so let's back to active camera. Select this layer 2, select this layer 1, let's Ctrl D for duplicate and select layer 1, change name white. And this name, let's write here Choco. So let's open Insight and Contents, Rectangle 1, let's open and choose Rectangle Path 1. Right click and go to choose Convert to Bezier Path. So right now we can edit these points, select this path 1 and go to pen tool and we can change like this. Okay, and let's move it up like this here. So let's click here for add new point and move it down. Okay, let's hold alt and make smooth line. And also hold Alt, make this smooth, and this. Okay, let's Clusation tool, and let's choose white. Go to Fill. Let's choose white color. Okay, that's good. So let's back to again Custom V1, and select this Choco. Let's press S, Chain Scale, 102, and choose Choco. Let's Move to front for Z axis. So let's back to active camera and select this layer 2, press R. Let's create Y rotation keyframe and go to one second. 
and change this rotation one and select two frames make it easy or click f9 and preview animation okay not bad let's change quality for now quarter and select last shift frame of the right okay so in this time let's select this white color and go to stroke color choose white click ok ok and select this choco let's open inside and geometry options and right here extrusion deep 135 let's see nice it works so in this time let's create new background layer with solid layer add the name background click ok and move to behind of layers go to fs presses search gradient ramp choose gradient ramp use for background layer and go to start color choose blue and end color let's choose this blue and open inside move to left for light blue click ok and go to ramp shape choose here red ramp and click swap colors and choose this point move to down and this point move to down like this and for remove these noises right ramp scatter 200 okay so select the layer 2 press s change scale and let's move to here let's see okay that's good select this layer 2 press u and select the last shift frame move to right and choose work area go to here press n and preview animation nice and in this time let's go to last shift frame and right here minus one for turn to left nice and let's select this background control d for duplicate right name grid and go to delete gradient ramp and search effect grid and let's choose grid use for grid solid layer and go to size form choose width slider and change width and opacity and go to fs presses search fxcc lens select lens use for grid and change sizes let's see nice so guys for final let's go to shape layers hold this icon and choose ellipse tool and let's create one ellipse like this clearization tool and click align and select this ice cream layer let's move to right and move to center and select the shape layer go to fill choose color blue and move to down for dark shadow and go to fs presses search effect gaussian blur choose gaussian blur use for shape layer one and change blurness let's change quality quarter and change blurness like this and press t change opacity okay not bad we can go to fill color change to more dark okay enough so in this time let's change name shadow and select this layer one press p let's create new pass in q frame go to one second one second let's move to up go to two second select first two frame copy pass and make it two frames easy and preview animation okay that's good and select the shadow let's go to first second press s create scale two frame go to middle chain scale like this for small shadow And go to last shift frame, select first shift frame, copy pass, and make the shift frames easy. Okay, 
Okay, that's good. I like it. So guys, thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like video, leave comments and have a good day. Good luck.